Hey guys, welcome back to Dream Reaver 23 here and uh, doing another just ride, ride every day, <clears throat> trying to. Uh, yesterday was a bit chilly, so we weren't able to get out yesterday. I don't have my uh, second mic on today. Because um, I, I tomorrow I have a uh, piece coming in. Why don't you guys tell me my blinker was on? Tomorrow I have a piece coming in. I ordered another Purple Panda microphone, uh, the Lavalier mic. And uh, so yeah, that'll be in tomorrow. But. Uh, for now, what the hell is going on up here? We are going to go into this area. Uh, so for now, we're going to go through and um, just ride, ar ride around. Once I get the Purple Panda Lavalier mic in, I'm going to try going through with a different setup to have the uh, microphone for the motorcycle sound uh, under the seat to see if I can go through and get a bit less wind noise as an overall, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's just things to test out to go through and try to get a better overall sound for the system, uh, for, the, for the audio setup. The other thing that I'm running into is that on uh, whenever I upload the videos to YouTube, I don't know if it just compresses the hell out of the audio or what, but my volume level just drops dramatically. much rather give her the go ahead than me go out and get squished When the lavalier mic comes in, I think it'll just go through and give me a little bit more options. There should be obviously less wind under the seat. Um, it doesn't cut off completely though, so there might still be some wind that gets in there, but that's just the whole testing thing, trying to go through and get better audio for you guys so you can enjoy the, uh, the rides. I do want to start having uh, videos that are not just, uh, not just vlogs, but just overall like I, I want to call them like ASMR videos, right? Long ride videos, uh, not necessarily through the city, but going through up in the mountains and stuff like that, um, where it's just the, the motorcycle audio. So no vlogging style, no talking in it. And I'll be able to do that whenever I have two different audio sources that I can get consistency with. Or at least that's my thoughts. Now this should be coming through as a different view as well. I am doing uh, super view and 4K by 60, I believe. So I'm testing out a lot of different stuff to go through and try to figure things out. I know that on my last two videos, I don't think I had the shutter speed at the right speed. And 
and uh, it made it to where it was a bit um, a bit blurry it wasn't as crisp as I would have liked it to be Honestly, don't really know where I'm going out this way. Just riding. Try to park on these so if I can... So I can get it to notice me. Notice me, senpai. Senpai light signal. So I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but we do have some uh, smoke in the mountains. we got a lot of fires going on in New Mexico and Arizona, which is causing our mountains to disappear into the smoke. So that's fun. Come on, light. Towards the interlocking area. Oh, that's private property right there. All right, let's not go this way. traffic does not stop. So this area of, uh, oh, is this Westminster? I think it's Westminster. It is the whole interlocking area, so everything, all the roads seem to be like interlocking. Lots of uh, companies over here, Ball Corporation. And also, if you're one of my flight simmers, this is where the uh, regional airport is at. Right over there, I believe. Whenever I play uh, flight sim 2020, I always take off from this airport because it is uh, a lot less congested than uh, DIA.
never can tell what the squirrels are going to do. Hello? Hello? What's up? I'm riding over by uh, Wadsworth and like the airport or over here. By the airport? Yeah. Like, the no, no, no. The one that's over by Wadsworth. Like over by Flatirons Mall. Hi, right, what's up? Oh, okay. Where you want me to meet y'all? I don't know where you want. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty easy going. Rocky Mountain Metro. That's the name of this airport. Uh, I'm pretty easy going. I mean, we can do something like, uh, I don't know, burgers or... Uh, the only place to get burgers, mister. Red Robin. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go up to the one by the, uh, at the orchard. Like over by your work. Because okay. I don't want to go all the way out to Brighton. <laughs> okay. Um, meet y'all up there then? Yeah. Okay. I'll be up there in probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Alright, bye. Wait a second, what is over here? You guys see this little thing? That's freaking cool. That's awesome. A couple little crazy scooters. All souped up and everything, damn. So, a uh, different little change of route, that was my uh, sister, she was calling to say that her wife owed me a dinner, I think for whenever I did their taxes, and so she wanted to go and eat tonight, so I am going to be heading over to the Orchard Mall from over here. Um, so that we can go and uh, get some Red Robin, because a nice burger sounds pretty good. Let's see. What is this? This is Wadsworth. Okay. So we should be able to go south on Wads. We truly don't eat all the time out, but <laughs> I also, if somebody offers to go out there and buy you dinner, you never turn it down. That's rules to live by in life.
Just give me the light. It's a gorgeous day, so there's a lot of people out riding. Right there, like 71 degrees, just feels good. Especially now that we got some cloud cover, you don't have the sun beating down on you. take midway up Ride back to the little neighborhoods of uh, Broomfield or Westminster. I I have to see the signs. So uh, this is the first town that I've ever lived in, uh, or town I guess should say city. So this is Broomfield, I believe. Shit, I don't know. Uh, the, the towns and cities are so... So I grew up in West Texas, out in San Angelo, Texas. And out there, you're in San Angelo until you're at the city limits. And then you're just in the county because there's no other city that's right next to it. But in uh, here in Colorado, or here specifically in Denver, there is so many cities that border each other by streets. So this is Broomfield. Um, that on the signs, the street signs, they actually have different symbols for each city. So each city has its kind of like city crest or city symbol. And that tells you what street you're in. I'll try to go through and have up on the, uh, uh, up on the screen, I'll try to go through and show the different ones for Broomfield, Westminster, Thornton, North Glen. Um, I don't know if they have one for Henderson. Uh, there's also one for Reunion, but they all have different signs. And so if you actually, if I'm able to keep it steady enough at the next bit of a sign, I'll go through and show you. But that's the easiest way to go through and tell like what, where you're at, what city you're in, because all of them have different city ordinances and guidelines. They are pretty close and similar, but it's not its not guaranteed. <laughs> so, And literally, you could be across the street and where we used to live. We actually used to live in apartments over here. And our apartments were Westminster. 
but literally the apartments across the street 12 feet apart from each other were broomfield and they were different taxes different everything so it's just weird i don't know it's, it's crazy to me because like i said growing up you lived in a city and the next city or next town might have been 10 miles to 100 miles away and that's just how it was But Broomfield, their their symbol is uh, kind of like a pyramid. It's a uh, it's got a it's got like a a, a, a a dashed pyramid inside there. I guess that's the easiest way to, to explain it. So on that shrine that says Birch right there, if you're able to see that, it has a little pyramid symbol. So you know that you're in Broomfield at this point in time. That's two manholes right there in a row. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right, what are we at? This is Sheridan. We still got a ways. Actually, I'm going to get right here. Gorgeous day for a ride though. I used to live in those condominiums right there. <laughs> long, long time ago.
Ah, that was a big old juicy bug that hit my helmet. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that on the uh, on the camera. It's Bob's cousin. really building up these uh, houses over here. Hopefully I get somebody to join me over here because I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to pull the weight. Yeah, I got somebody behind me. I got a friend. That you guys are liking these daily ride videos i'm trying to get out and ride as much as possible just get one more get more experience on the bike to get more feel for the bike to go there and see how it really really feels as the bike kind of breaks in and stuff like that one of the big things that i hear a lot of people say is uh with gootsies especially is that you know 2500 3000 miles they start really kind of breaking in and just kind of like gelling pretty well and uh they just get a lot more smooth everything gets a lot more smooth on the bike and it's definitely something that I can that I can tell. Like the bike doesn't feel so uh, stiff, uh, robotic, uh, mechanical. It d definitely feels a lot more overall well-rounded. And that throttle response, and the throttle, and just the like torque everything about it just feels a whole lot more gorgeous also i did want to say mark thank you so much for uh you know giving me feedback on the videos i know that you comment uh on all of them and i appreciate that I know that uh, Panda and myself are going to be hooking up to do some canyon rides uh, at some point in time. And then 
June, I have a really long ride going from here to Oklahoma. So that'll be fun. That'll be about uh, 800, around 800 miles, 850 miles for that ride. So we'll see how that one goes. But yeah, that's all I'm really trying to do with this series is just get more videos of going out and riding and having fun. Like the zen of just kind of being able to be one with the uh, the bike and, and just one with your thoughts. If math. And even riding through the city. I know everybody goes through and says, ah, oh, I hate it when people just ride through the city or I hate riding through the city. I'm like, I don't know, I like it. The stop and go can be exhilarating, especially when you're at the front of a line. <laughs> front of the line at the red light just means, yep, bye everybody. So I'm not sure how much battery life I have left. I'm going to have to see, you know, what I have left on my battery life because I didn't bring a spare battery. Um, so I might wrap it up here. If I do, then uh, you'll hear this part. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this time, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. Until next time, this is Dream River 23 reminding you to ride happy. I love you all, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.